welcome back. Well, Borderlands Theater is presenting the world premiere of Moss, a play based on a true story out of our own community. Playwright Milta Ortiz and director Mark David Panate both join us to tell us more. Thank you both so much for joining us. We're catching you kind of on the uh, eve of uh, your opening, which is amazing. And Milta, uh, we're talking about a story that's here within our community. It's a true story. So kind of tell us what the story that you're taking and, and transforming it into this wonderful play. Sure. So uh, the story is, is an actually a docudrama play, so it's based on the movement to save the banning of Mexican-American studies in the Tucson Unified School District. And it focuses on the people involved in the movement and how the pressure uh, from the state affects their relationships. Oh, wow. A docu-play, you said. Yes, it's a docudrama play. I don't know that I've ever heard of that. Now, you're actually the playwright of this amazing new play. So tell us a little bit about kind of the process of writing this play. Sure. So the docudrama play is, is uh, based word for word on what the people in the community say. So you, you may have heard of the Laramie Project mm -hmm. or the Columbinus. It's in that vein. Um, so what we did was uh, Mark and I were both in, in Chicago at graduate school and we were keeping up with what was happening here with the Mexican American Studies program. And after we graduated, we picked up and moved here um, to begin interviewing folks in the community and find out what was happening. And uh, so basically, every interview was transcribed, and I sifted to, through about 400 plus pages of transcription wow. and created a story based on what they said. So it's 99% word for word. Uh, I finessed it a little bit. Um, I had people talking that actually didn't speak to it, that didn't have the conversation, but I, I spliced their interviews together so that, so that we can see a conversation on stage. And so as, you know, from being the playwright to being the director, how was it kind of taking a, a true story and this docu kind of, uh, like you said, uh, take on this? Is that harder in directing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, a, there's an incredible amount of information uh, in this in the yeah. script. Uh, and so you have to balance that with, um, you know, people's attention span. And, um, and so it's a very theatrical play. There's some incredible masks made by... Um, Sargo Guerrero, a master mask maker up in, in Mesa. Um, uh, we have uh, Safo's Dance Company uh, doing all the choreography. We have a crew of four dancers. Um, and uh, I think the most interesting part of it is that we're using the sweat lodge as a framing device for the whole play. Uh, a lot of the um, uh, teachers and students in this program uh, uh, attended sweat lodge ceremonies and other um, uh, sort of indigenous um, uh, uh, activities. Uh, and so um, that, that format of sort of everybody coming in and we're, we're pouring water on, on what we're called book stones, um, the seven books that were banned by the state, um, uh, using that as a sort of uh, framing device uh, to try to give it a sense of healing. Very cool. Well, it sounds like this is quite a project, and a lot of collaboration must have gone into making this a success, like you're mentioning mm -hmm. all the people that you're working with. What is it going to mean to you to see this up on stage tonight for preview? Oh, it's really, it's really exciting because a lot of work has gone into this. Two years worth of work and just, uh, you know, being able to tell the story, it was really important to us to document this important historical moment. And the way that we're able to do that is through theater and create a, a piece of art that people hopefully um, will, at be, you know, our hope is that it will inspire a conversation or provoke a conversation within the community about some of the things that, that happened. And is this in line with what Borderline Theater usually tries to evoke in their work, w whatever the subject may be? It, it is. Yeah, we, uh, our mission statement is that we try to produce plays that represent the diverse voices of the border region. And I think this falls right in the middle of that for sure. Absolutely. So anybody who has never been to Borderland Theaters, what other things can we expect maybe throughout the season? Sure. We got some uh, really great seasons, our 30th anniversary season, and uh, so after this we're doing our Pastorella, which is the uh, 19th year we've done this Christmas play, and then uh, we have a really big project in March called Barrio Stories Project, where we interviewed folks that used to live where the Tucson Convention Center currently is. There was uh, the original Mexican-American Barrio was in that location, and we've uh, found some, some elders like in their 70s and 80s that still remember that time, and uh, again, transcribe their oral histories. Uh, a team of award-winning playwrights from around the country are turning that into a script and it'll be done outdoors on the grounds of the convention center in March. 
Wow. Amazing. Well, you two, this sounds like an amazing play, and it sounds like you have a lot of great things coming for the season. I want to thank you both for taking the time to join us this morning to tell us more about this play. We're going to make sure our viewers have all the information to come see this awesome world premiere. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And again, the world premiere of Moss will take place tonight through the 27th at the Temple of Music and Art Cabaret Theater. For more details, you can call 882-7406 or log on to borderlandstheater.org.